Good morning everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today's video I'm going to share with you guys what I typically eat for the day as a type 1 diabetic. So when I wake up around 7.15, I will check my blood sugar and see how it did overnight. I like to have a slow morning in the mornings and so I'll scroll through social media and lay in bed with Banks and Tanner. After I lay in bed for a couple of minutes, I then like to get our space ready for the day, just opening the blinds and cleaning up. This year, I really wanted to wake up early in the mornings and start my mornings off just slow and have a peaceful morning with God. So I've been reading this devotional by Lisa. It's called 40 Days Through the Bible. And I just think that's a great way to just start my morning and day. This devotional is only like a 40 day devotional, like I said, but it starts in the book of Genesis and goes throughout the Bible, which I really love. So it's not a big commitment, but it's still just a great start. I will link the book down below. You can get it off of Amazon or Barnes and Noble, but I just really like how they organize the book and it leaves room for writing, which I love. That's really important to me because I write a lot when it, when I am reading through devotionals. And here's Tanner reading the Bible early this morning with me. Halfway through my devotional, I will give myself insulin for my breakfast. So I typically will have like a bowl of cereal for breakfast, so I just have to pre-bolus about 15 minutes beforehand so I don't spike, so that's what I'm doing here. And then I have to clock in for my job at 8 o'clock, so I will go through emails and my messages through my work app to see if I missed anything. And then around 8.15, that is when I will go back into the kitchen and have my bowl of cereal. I typically just like to bolus 15 minutes before I eat my cereal so it doesn't spike my blood sugar too much and every day I do not have Lucky Charms. I, sometimes I'll go with Special K Cheerios, like it just depends, but that day I was craving a sweet so I went with a Lucky Charms. Around, I would say 940, I will check my blood sugar and I've been loving these egg frittatas by Trader Joe's. They are so good if you have not tried them i highly recommend i like them specifically for myself because they are low carb but they have amazing protein in it so like that day since i had sugary cereal it didn't fill me up that much so i could have this easy snack they're honestly a little better than the egg bites from starbucks so don't come at me for that but you have to give them a try they are so good so every day for my work is a little different when it comes to like meetings and my tasks. So this day I had to have lunch a little later. So I just wanted to check on my blood sugar and make sure that I wasn't going to go low at 12 because typically if I don't have a snack in between like 12 and 1230, I will go low. So right there, I was just checking my blood sugar and making sure that it was okay. And I wanted a snack that was going to tide me over. So I decided to have this salad from Trader Joe's. It comes in a kit. This one specifically had like feta cheese and an amazing vinaigrette dressing. I highly recommend it. If I can find it, I will um, put the name down below, but I un took it out of its package. So I forgot the name of it, but this is just like a good snack, healthy snack to have while I am in my meetings. I've been also trying to do really good this year by not having so much processed food. So I've been replacing those with these healthier options just to see if that helps me because I have way too many processed foods throughout the day. So new year, new me, we'll see how long this lasts. After my meeting, it, I got out at like 12.30. I decided to join Tanner outside for some lunch, but because I had the salad, I wasn't that hungry, but I decided to have some hummus to kind of like tide me over until I could go on another break. And I got that little hummus pack from Trader Joe's. So at two o'clock, I'm checking my blood sugar and I was a little high after my little snack because I think the hummus chips just made me spike. This day for lunch, I was gonna make myself a sandwich. So I just have a typical sandwich, but these are the rolls that I've been eating recently from Trader Joe's. And I'm probably not gonna buy them again, honestly, because 
they have been spiking my blood sugar like crazy and halfway through making my sandwich I realized I didn't give myself insulin for the bread and I've been trying to be so good this year by giving myself insulin way before I eat so I don't spike well this time I failed so I didn't have a great blood sugar day after this because the bread just completely spiked me I am that person that can't have like a plain sandwich I love to add salami cheese onion tomato like all the extra stuff on my sandwich because I can't have a boring sandwich I also love to have um, like Italian dressing on my sandwich that's like my secret ingredients when I make a sandwich adding salad dressing honestly it doesn't even have to just be Italian it can be like balsamic it adds such a great flavor to your sandwich so if you have not try to add a dressing salad dressing to your sandwich I highly recommend it it's so good so I just have my quick 15 minute break and I have my sandwich normally I'll just scroll through social media or like TikTok. it just depends on the day or I'll take banks on a walk this specific day I was pretty busy with work in the afternoon and my blood sugar did not have a great afternoon because of the sandwich bread I used so before I took Banks out to the field, I wanted a snack, but because my blood sugar was high, I had to have a low carb snack. So I ended up having carrots with ranch. Hello. Okay. So it is a little after 6 PM. So we're going to make dinner. Dinner shouldn't take more than like 20 minutes. We're doing a super easy Trader Joe's meal. My blood sugars were doing great throughout the day. And then the bread that I've been eating from Trader Joe's, because this is my second day eating it and my blood sugar has not reacted well at all to it. So like it spikes me up to 300. So probably not going to use that bread anymore. I probably should or I should be eating like wheat bread. But I know today, for instance, like I didn't give myself insulin typically I do it like 15 minutes before I eat it so I don't spike like that's what I did this morning for with my cereal and when I was halfway making my sandwich as you saw in the video I totally forgot to pre bolus for my food and I was like oh I should wait to eat the sandwich but I was hungry and I also like didn't want my stuff to get all soggy so I was just like let me just try it again and sure enough what happened yesterday happened today and I don't know what it is it spiked me for a long time so I had I had my sandwich at 2 and I am still, I think, like 2.30 right now. Yeah. So that, like, it should not take that long to come down, but I also don't want to crash. I also walked Banks. To, we took him to a field kind of like behind our apartment complex and I was hoping it was going to go down from that walk, even though it wasn't a huge walk. But sometimes a little walk goes a long way with my blood sugar. Nothing happened. So just waiting to come down and then it's gonna be 30 carbs for dinner if because I'm just having like a cup of pasta. So it's kind of like a low carb meal. But let me show you guys what I'm making. It's super quick and easy. And if you have Trader Joe's near you, you can also make this. And it's like gonna take you 20 minutes max to make this. So this is what you're gonna need from Trader Joe's. This is Tanner's favorite flavor. They have a bunch of other options that you can do like sweet or spicy but i like sweet apple and then i'm going to add some spinach in there for some to make it more of a healthy meal spinach. and then we're just using like i said you can use any kind of pasta but this is pasta i'm using and then i'm gonna use the rest of this vodka sauce you can also just use plain spaghetti sauce if you wanted to those are the ingredients that you're gonna need for dinner tonight. So I'm gonna chop this up and saute it on the pan. Add this, some seasoning probably, and then we're gonna use the vodka sauce. So really easy dinner. You only need four ingredients basically. So let's cook dinner.
All right, and then we just sat down and had some dinner. I ended up bolusing 30 carbs for my dinner. Then after Tanner got back from the gym, we ended up watching White Lotus catching up. It's such a good show. I had some ice cream to end the night for another low carb snack. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget to hit the subscribe button.